Blockchain technology is simple to understand at its roots. Basically, the tech exists as a shared database filled with entries that must be confirmed and encrypted by large networks of people called miners. People generally only associate cryptocurrencies and their volatility with blockchain. However, the underlying technology and principles behind blockchain have an incredible amount of uses in nearly, if not all industries around the world and have already seen massive traction in many industries from agriculture all the way to banking and finance. To understand how blockchain will change the world, you need to understand a concept called democratized information, how it works and the benefits of it. Democratized information means it gives control of information, transfer of information back to people rather than centralized institutions as we've traditionally seen like media corporations, financial institutions, governments, or your traditional power brokers. To understand how it does this, we need to understand what non-fungible tokens known as NFTs and smart contracts are. Firstly, non-fungible tokens. NFTs are a special type of token, essentially a digital unit which represents something unique and of unique value, which means that non-fungible tokens are not necessarily interchangeable just by their token status alone. To cut through the jargon, NFTs are usually used to prove ownership. This could be houses, vehicles, arts, all kinds of information, and just anything really. So just to reinforce that idea, one house isn't necessarily tradable for another simply because of its status as a house, right? Each house is unique and will have a unique value. A non-practical but funny example of this is something called hot potato, which if you already know what this is, you're probably a true OG NFT user. In January 2018, a small game called Crypto Celebrities was launched. Now, the idea behind it was very simple. First, buy a collectible celebrity image, non-fungible token, basically just an image on a screen. Immediately after that, the image becomes purchasable or what was known as snatchable for a higher price. So when someone buys your celebrity, you obviously make the difference between your purchase price and the new purchase price minus a developer fee. Meaning that as long as there's someone willing to buy your celebrity, you're always gonna make money. However, if you're caught as the last one holding the celebrity, like a hot potato, you're gonna get burnt. Now, the crypto celebrity idea turned out to be incredibly popular due to this speculative mechanic, like most things in crypto, as celebrities like Donald Trump were auctioning for ridiculous prices, 123 Ethereum, or what was 137,000 US dollars at the time. And initially, while the crypto celebrity game likely harmed the NFT space, as it reduced the amount of professionalism of the idea and created a speculative stigma behind the idea, it can, however, be argued that the experimentation actually benefited the idea overall, as it displayed a clear working and constructive mechanism which opened up the idea to many people. So before we move on to smart contracts, just remember, an NFT represents something of unique value. Think of it like a registration paper. Now smart contracts. A smart contract is a self-executing online contract which has the ability to automatically document, control and execute legally relevant events and actions according to the terms of the contract or the agreement. Now, the way this is done is through a method called consensus, where an incredibly large amount of computers around the world verify and agree on provenance, essentially authenticity around actions. The real significance behind this is that blockchain is commoditizing trust in the same way that the internet commoditized communication. Blockchain trust is built from the ground up, where incredibly large networks of verifiers stake their reputation and have no incentive to lie or misenter information, instead of the trickle-down trust that we see in society today in which smart contracts allow two people from any parts of the world with no fields of particular expertise or knowledge of each other to interact with complete confidence and trust through the self-executing contract mechanism, which has previously only been possible with the presence of a trusted third party. So imagine what this means for you. This could be a purchase agreement between you and anyone for literally anything, which will be updated at each step for authenticity, quality, quantity, origin, destination, dates, deadlines, timestamps, values, and everything you need to fulfill the contract. Where upon completion of the arrangement, the funds stored in escrow would be automatically transferred according to the terms of the agreement. Ladies and gentlemen, this is democratized information. We're no longer relying on corporations or governments for the supply of information in any aspect. It's not just for you either. In the same way, companies need to democratize enterprise information as they need to give their employees the power to be information creators, information finders, and if applicable, informed decision makers, all in the same swift motion while simultaneously cutting out the middlemen and increasing cost efficiency. Accountants too will be replaced by automatic and incorruptible accounting blockchains. The path to this pillar of the future may be harder for some businesses to adopt than others, but it's definitely worth it.
This is only a small insight as to fully understand blockchain and its potential takes time. However, blockchain's proved over the last 10 years that it's not going anywhere and it's getting stronger and stronger. Many major companies like Unilever, Facebook, Shell, DHL, and so many major banks around the world are already adopting blockchain solutions. Look around the world as other things are being democratized. Uber democratized taxi services, Airbnb democratized property rental, Amazon democratized vendorship without even needing to have stock in most cases. Right now, we're looking at a situation where the last of the early stragglers have an opportunity to gain from blockchain development, solutions, knowledge, and investment. The days of making a lot of money incredibly quickly in crypto is largely over. What's important now is the underlying technology and the projects that are bringing some kind of new value to the market. The good news, however, is that despite all the traction and gains we've seen already in crypto, we are just at the beginning. That is where the potential is.